Hello and welcome to the Fat Boss Guide to Jinrock, 10 man normal in the Throne of Thunder. Yes, hello and welcome to this lovely new tier. And this is an awesome first boss because yeah, it's, it's nice so simple. Boss. Yeah. It's literally, don't worry guys, this isn't, isn't going to be horrible. And then like you go to the next trash and it's awful. But either way, this boss is a nice simple start to the whole uh, tier. And let's get straight into it. So you want to bring two tanks, two to three healers. You could probably two heal it, but if you want to bring three healers because you want to be safe for the first thing, then that's fine. And uh, the rest DPS. It, do it really doesn't matter which DPS you want to bring to this fight. Ideally range because it's slightly better, but it really, really doesn't matter. Now we're going to go through the abilities one by one, and first we're going to talk about Focus Lightning. Now this is an orb that he'll create that will fixate on a random player, and then it will chase them at high speed. And as it does, it will, it will like deal a small amount of AOE damage to anyone within five yards. You could say that it's similar to the skulls on Spirit Kings. Yeah, kind of. They kind of work like that. And once it does reach the fixated player, it will explode, dealing about 200k damage to anyone within eight yards, and it will also leave a lightning fissure on the floor. Now a lightning fissure, this is basically like a small lightning circle and it has like a little peaky thing. It looks quite nice and basically um, it, it deals about 50k damage to anyone that's uh, within it. However, if you drag a focused lightning orb, so like the lightning orbs that are, that are chasing people around, if you drag someone, one of them over a lightning fissure, it will explode or implode dealing 250k damage to anyone in the raid as well as increasing the amount of damage taken by any of the other implosions that they're going to do by 10% and this stacks. So basically, don't run your orbs over the lightning fish, it's very very simple, just make sure you just space them out of the side, very 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 simple. Now on top of this, the boss will do an ability called Static Burst. Now this will deal about 100k damage to all players after a short cast, and then after about 3 seconds we'll apply a 10 stack debuff to the tank called Static Wound. Now every time the tank is hit with this uh, debuff up, it will do lightning damage to everyone in the raid, basically. So you need to make sure that it, you need to taunt as soon as the other tank has the Static Wound debuff. It just makes you take a lot of damage, so as soon as you do see the tank do take those debuffs, then just quickly taunt. And then by the time that you get it, the other tank's debuff would have dropped. And you just usually. Like yeah, usually, usually, usually would have dropped. But if the tank still does have stacks, just use cooldowns and stuff, but it'll be, it should be fine. Now the main thing that really happens in this fight is something called Thundering Throw, which is lovely. The boss picks up a tank and throws him at the nearest Mogu statue. Now there's like four Mogu statues around the outside of the room, and he'll throw you at the nearest one. And this will do 250k um, physical damage to your tank. Now when the tank hits the floor after hitting the statue, it will um, hit everyone within eight yards of where that tank is for 200k and stun them for five seconds. So just make sure you're not going to be where the tank's going to land afterwards. Now as soon as the tank lands, a pool of water spawns underneath the tank called conductive water. Now when you're stood in the conductive water you gain a 40% damage and healing buff which is great but you also take 80% more nature damage so you want everyone to stand in it. However if a focused lightning orb explodes in the conductive water it will deal 750k damage to everyone within 8 yards. This means if you do have the orb on you while you're inside the conductive water, you really need to get out as soon as possible because if you do get hit, it's a wipe. Yeah, you just need to drop it outside. It's very, very simple. Now, the waters get bigger and bigger and it will actually eat up any of the lightning fishes as it goes over it. Um, now, each time it does eat one of these lightning fishes, it does do 75k damage to anyone standing in the conductive waters. You don't want to run out when it's going over a fish or anything. Just the healers, you need to be aware that people will be taking damage from that. Now, once the pool grows to about a quarter of this room, size the boss will start to cast something called lightning storm now this is a channeled ability doing about 70k damage per second to the raid and it also converts the conductive waters into electrified waters now if you stand in the electrified waters you don't gain the 40% damage and healing buff but you still do take 80% extra nature damage in it and you also have a dot on you while you're in it and yeah just move out of it as it's soon just as, a mess don't yeah. be inside there when the boss is casting yeah this. so as soon as um, the boss does do his lightning storm it has a small charge up time just make sure you stack underneath him and those electri um, the, that conductive waters will always be in electrified waters from now on. Now after the boss has finished casting his storm, um, the fight just continues. And essentially the fight is all about killing the boss before all quarters of the room, if you want to call them quarters, are filled up with the uh, uh, lightning waters. Yeah, pretty much. And it's something to note for your tanks that we didn't really kind of do is... Um, with the um, Because he's going to throw you at the nearest Mogu statue, 
Um, you kind of want to fill up the room as going like around in a circle and not on opposite sides because you have to run through two sets of conductive, um, well, electrified waters at that point if you need to get to your third thing. So when you are making the conductive water pools by getting your tank thrown at a statue, then just make sure that you are either to the left or the right of one that's already up and not opposite it like we did and we were split and we couldn't get to each other. But the boss died anyway because it's just really, really easy. It's a very, very simple fight to be fair, but very, very enjoyable. Yes. So that pretty much wraps up the boss. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.